If you're looking for a way to improve your circulation naturally, look no further. This video will teach you some simple techniques that can help get your blood flowing. Circulation is the process by which the blood is transported from the heart to other body parts. It includes transporting oxygenated blood throughout the entire body, as well as carrying away waste and carbon dioxide through the lungs. The body's circulatory system consists of two major components, the heart and blood vessels. The heart is responsible for pumping blood through the body, while blood vessels transport oxygenated blood throughout the human body. At a basic level, circulation involves the following steps. 1. The heart receives and pushes blood through the body. 2. The blood is then transported through different body parts, such as the lungs, where it picks up oxygen and carbon dioxide, or to other organs where it is needed. 3. When the heart needs more blood, it beats faster to increase the amount of blood pumped through the body. 4. Oxygen-rich red cells is pumped throughout the body by the heart to pick up carbon dioxide and deliver oxygen to different body parts. So what are the natural remedies to improve circulation around the body? 1. Exercise regularly. If you want to improve circulation around the body, it is essential to take up some exercise. Regular exercise can help increase oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in the blood and blood flow through the body. Exercise increases your heart rate, which in turn helps pump more blood around the body. It can also help strengthen the heart and improve its efficiency, which helps to improve circulation around the body. 2. Get a massage or acupressure. Massaging or applying pressure to unique points on the body can also help improve circulation. It increases blood flow, which in turn helps improve circulation. Acupressure is also another great option to try. It involves placing pressure on specific points on the body that are believed to help increase circulation. Both techniques are great options, but remember that they should not be relied upon as the only way to increase circulation. It would be best if you tried to massage your legs and feet at least twice a week to keep circulation moving throughout the body. 3. Take hot baths. Hot baths provide a great way to relax and de-stress. It is believed that hot baths can increase circulation, which in turn helps improve blood flow. Increasing blood flow in the body will help increase oxygen and nutrient delivery to all areas of the body. This method can work wonders for anyone who has a circulation issue. If you appreciate hot baths, then perhaps you should consider taking a few minutes out of your day to relax in one. It is an easy and quick way to increase circulation and overall health. You can add essential oils to the water for additional aromatherapy and relaxation. 4. Use a warm compress. Warm compresses are another great option to try when trying to increase circulation. You can purchase compresses that contain lavender oil or any other essential oils. You can place the compress on certain body areas to help with circulation and overall health. You can use heat packs to warm up your feet and hands. You can also place it on your feet for a few minutes before bed. It will help to relax you and get the blood pumping throughout the night. 5. Drink a lot of water. Water is a great way to help with circulation and fatigue. If you are feeling tired and sluggish, try increasing your water intake. It can also make you feel more energetic and alert. Water helps to flush out toxins and keep you hydrated. It also keeps you in good shape after a long day of work. 6. Wear compression socks. Compression stockings are a great way to help alleviate tired legs. They work by applying pressure to your legs, which helps to stimulate blood flow and circulation. If you are feeling achy or tired, try wearing compression socks. It will help get the blood flowing throughout your body and make you feel better. 7. Manage your daily stress. Stress causes the blood vessels to constrict and reduces the flow of blood. When stressed, your body releases cortisol to prepare for fight or flight. Your body will release this hormone to help keep you going in danger. When your cortisol levels are high, it can cause the blood vessels to constrict and reduce the flow of blood, resulting in poor circulation. When you are under stress, it is essential to relax and do something that you enjoy so that your body can release the stress hormones in your brain. 
It also helps to have a good night's sleep. 8. Reduce your alcohol intake. Alcohol is a diuretic, which causes the body to lose water and increases blood pressure. If you drink too much alcohol, you can have a reduced blood flow in your veins. The body must work harder to eliminate the alcohol, increasing blood pressure. So, to improve your circulation levels naturally, you should reduce your alcohol intake. 9. Stretch regularly. Stretching is one of the best ways to improve circulation. It is an effective exercise that increases blood flow and enhances the elasticity of your muscles. Stretching is also good for the joints, ligaments, and tendons. Ideally, it would help if you stretched every day to help maintain good circulation throughout your body. First, start by warming up. If you are not used to stretching, you should begin with a warm-up exercise that includes gentle jogging and walking. The goal of your warm-up is to get your muscles warm, so they are ready to stretch for the workout. 10. Quit smoking. Smoking is a direct cause of poor circulation. It constricts and narrows blood vessels, slowing down the flow of blood through the body and causing poor circulation. Smoking is also a direct cause of heart disease, which plays a significant role in poor circulation. If you do smoke, at least try to quit. 11. Cut down on salt and sugar intake. Salt is found naturally in foods such as fish and vegetables. However, excessive salt can cause high blood pressure and poor circulation. According to a study by the American Heart Association, a person who consumes too much salt may be at risk of poor circulation. The study found that people who consumed more than 3,000 mg of sodium daily, the equivalent of three slices of bread, were more likely to have impaired circulation. A high-salt diet can contribute to the development of heart disease. However, a low-salt diet will also lower blood pressure and improve circulation. Sugar is also a common cause of poor circulation. Sugar increases the amount of cholesterol that is circulated in your bloodstream. A person with a high cholesterol level can build up on artery walls which cause blockage and lead to coronary artery disease. High blood sugar can also cause damage to the arteries and is often linked to diabetes. So, if you are trying to improve circulation, you must pay attention to your salt and sugar intake. 12. Eat a balanced diet. Eating a balanced diet is vital to improving circulation. It can include eating a wide range of foods rich in vitamins and minerals, such as 6 to 10 portions of fresh fruit and vegetables daily and one portion of whole grain cereals at breakfast. Also include eating a variety of foods with complex carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates, such as oats, brown rice, and barley, are found in whole grains and pulses. These foods provide energy to the body and also help maintain a healthy blood pressure level. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on how to improve blood circulation to your legs naturally. Thanks for watching and bye for now.